Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a video about this pay-per-view, it's Clash of Champions tonight, and I know that's a weird name, I've still not got to grips with the name, I, to be perfectly honest, I preferred, Cla I preferred uh, Knight of Champions, I thought it was a better name, but anyway, ignoring that, we're now on Clash of Champions, um, not Clash of the Champions, not Knight of, Cha of Champions, not Knight of the Champions, I think we've heard every incarnation of that on Raw, um, over the past couple of weeks but this is class of champions and we're going to break down each match as I normally do uh, I've already got my predictions in front of me on my tablet uh, if you've been if you follow me on Twitter you'll have probably seen them there first in in uh, in an ex you know, like an Excel sp uh, screenshot but I uh, didn't give any explanation why I was picking them and that's why I'm doing the video so let's kick it off with the first one which funny enough is the kickoff match um, which is Nia Jax versus Alicia Fox. Now, I think pretty much everyone knows what the outcome of this match is going to be, and it ain't going to be in Alicia Fox's favour. Um, she's not really been on TV that much. Uh, she's not really been in any storylines, uh, whereas Nia Jax has been in squash matches against jobbers. I I I'm sorry, but they're not going to bring Nia Jax on to, to fight loads of jobbers, then to fight, let's be honest, a, a roster jobber, in Alicia Fox to lose. They're not going to do that. So I think decisively Nia Jax is going to come in and demolish Alicia Fox. Now don't get me wrong, Alicia Fox will probably have a couple of moments where she does excel, but to, to set herself apart from the, the local jobbers, but I, I she's not going to win. She's not going to win. So my prediction here is Nia Jax. It's kind of an obvious one, but hey ho. Now I'm doing these in order that they are on, on the Wikipedia page. Uh, which was hilarious. I'll I'll get to one of the uh, points later. Why why that was hilarious. And the next match, according to that, is the Kevin Owens Seth Rollins. This is probably not the right um, not uh, the right flow of matches because I doubt that they'd have the Universal Championship open up the pay per view. Doesn't make sense. But anyway, regardless of that, let's get, like, we're going to go on to this match. So we've got Kevin Owens, uh, and I've just realised I've misspelled his name on my uh, screenshot that I put out there, which is pretty bad. Um, I don't know why I did that, <laughs> but yeah, this is Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins for the Universal Championship. Now, if Kevin Owens had had the belt instead of Finn Balor, I would be okay with Seth Rollins uh, taking it off him. However, if Seth Rollins was to take it off him, that would mean that there would be two title changes in about a month of the main championship it's not going to happen it devalues the championship for it to be passed around like a hot potato like that uh, and that is what they do with the United States championship and the Intercontinental um, so I don't honestly think that uh, they're going to do that uh, I think that in it personally it's going to stay on Kevin Owens and I think that's the right decision to make Seth Rollins has only really really only just gone face uh, so I can't see him immediately getting the title. I think it would be better for him to go face, take a little bit of a hit on this one, but then work himself back up into the title picture to get the belt off Kevin Owens. Uh, I think that's the way they're going to do it, to be perfectly honest. I don't see the point in just moving the belt around. As, as I say, Finn Balor got it at the last at SummerSlam. I think it was it SummerSlam. Yeah, I think it was SummerSlam. Uh, and then the next day gave it up. Um, then we had obviously the SmackDown pay per view. At the very next pay per view, is he really gonna? Is the person who they're gonna give it to gonna lose it again? I I can't see it. I, can, I just can't see it. Um, and I think uh, Seth Rollins would excel a little bit at trying to chase the belt a little bit. Uh, so I think that uh, it's gonna be Kevin Owens that retains here. Uh, moving on to the next match, um, which is going to be the tag team match. Uh, it's the New Day versus the Club. I still call them the Club. I know that they've kind of dropped that now. Uh, but I still call them the club. Uh, and I think that this one, you know, while people are thinking that it could, it's time for the New Day to lose the belts, and I certainly, certainly agree, I think that the New Day need to lose the belts and get a little bit more, um, lose, the, lose a little bit of the comedic side of things and go back to chase the belts. Um, I think that would make the New Day um, uh, fresh, if, if that makes sense. Uh, but I don't think it's time for the club to take the belts off, man. I don't think WWE want the club to take the belts off, man. The, the, the reason for that, um, I think, is because I think they want... Uh, I believe they keep mentioning Demolition as being... Um, and if I remember rightly, Demolition are 
uh, the longest reigning tag team uh, championships, uh, champions even. Uh, and I think they want the New Day to beat them. And I think that ti- I think that um, that reign is up in. I think it's November. I think if if New Day get to November with the belts, they beat Demolition. Uh, I think it's some point in November. I'm not sure, but they keep mentioning Demolition. They keep mentioning Demolition. Uh, and I think that personally, I think they're going to let New Day beat Demolition's record, and then we'll see a title change. Uh, and unfortunately for the club, I think that they need a win. The club, I'm not going to deny the club need to win, but WWE, I don't think will let a tag team go as long as what they have done for New Day, at least not um, for the next year anyway. So I think if they are going to want someone to beat Demolition's record, it's going to have to be New Day. So my 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 thoughts here are New Day are going to retain purely for the fact that every other um, champion. I mean, you had um, you know uh, Nikki Bella beat the uh, women's or the Divas uh, Championship uh, reign. You know, I, I, all these all these title reigns are getting beaten, and I think that they're going to let New Day beat the Tag tag to team, team Championship reign. Let me know in the comments if you agree with me there. But I just don't think that they're going to put, put, pull the trigger on a title change for the Tag Belt at the moment. That being said, a title change I do think is going to happen is the next match, which is Charlotte, Sasha Banks and Bayley. Now, you may be wondering why I think that this is going to be a title change when it's only just t- uh, changed hands at the last pay-per-view. And the simple reason for that is they t- changed the championship not because they wanted to, but because they needed to. They thought Sasha Banks was going to be going off injured for an extended period of time. They moved the belt back to Charlotte because there was literally no one else at the moment who could have taken it. Uh, took the belt. Uh, Bailey wasn't on the main roster. Paige, well, everyone knows what's going on with Paige. Uh, and no one else could have taken that belt off off, um, off Sasha. So they put it back on Sasha as more so of a placeholder. Uh, Sasha then went off injured but then came back because I'm guessing they figured out that it wasn't that serious. Uh, and now she's back in the title picture. Now, why would I think that it's going to go to Sasha over uh, Bailey? Bailey's only just got to the main roster. It's not her time yet. She's a WrestleMania winner. I reckon they're literally... Uh, going to put the belt on her at WrestleMania. Now, that's not to say that Bailey won't get a strong performance in at at uh, Clash of Champions. I was going to say call it, say Night of Champions there, um, but I think that it's going to be Sasha Banks. I think it's going to be some kind of Dana. I think Dana, uh, who is obviously Charlotte's protege, uh, I think that she's going to screw Charlotte a little bit, and then we're going to see a Charlotte versus Dana feud um, down the road. I think that the you know the main the main goal here is Sasha Banks. I think, personally, if Dana Brooke and Charlotte is going to happen, and obviously Charlotte's going to be the heel of that, and Dana's going to be the face, then that means, as a champion, we need a new heel. Uh, and I think a turn on... like I, What I think might happen is Sasha Banks will win the belt, Bailey will go in to hug her and say congratulations, you know, as Bailey does, and then Sasha will just demolish Bailey, and that'll start a Bailey feud, um, you know, with 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 Sasha, uh, and I think that's where it's going to go. Uh, I th- I think that makes sense. I think Sasha Banks is due a heel turn. I think it will shock a lot of people. I think it will get the headlines, which again is what WWE needs to do to make sure that this pay per view uh, is well received. Uh, and I, th- I think that's what's going to happen. I, I I think Dana Brooke is going to screw Charlotte. Charlotte's going to attack Dana Brooke. Uh, maybe not tonight, but definitely on Raw. And I think Sasha Banks is going to turn on Bailey. Uh, I, I just, I just think that's the way it is. And um, yeah, so I think that's what it's going to be. Uh, Sasha Banks to take the belt off Charlotte. That's what I think. So moving on to the next match, which is a non-title match: uh, Sami Zayn versus Y2J. Now I haven't looked this up, but I've heard rumblings that Y2J's, uh, you know, going back to Fozzy and they're going on tour again. Whether or not that's true, I don't know. Uh, either way, if, even if that's not true, Y2J doesn't need a win against Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn needs a win. Uh, this is a non-title match, so uh, WWE would be stupid to have Y2J win this match uh, over Sami Zayn. That's all I'm going to say. I think Zayn's going to win. I think he needs the momentum. I think he needs the win. Uh, and I think this is the perfect time to give him one. Now, if they're starting a Y2J feud with Zayn, um, I'd still like Zayn to win personally and then have Y2J... Uh, you know, chasing back to get to get the uh, second match, get the win, and then obviously for a rubber match uh, down the road. 
Uh, I think that uh, Zayn needs the win more than anybody else, to be perfectly honest, in terms of the... Uh, you know, if he, whoever Zayn was up against, I'd be saying Zayn would win because Zayn needs a win. Moving on to the next match, I'm trying to get through these quite quickly. We've got um, Rusev versus Roman Reigns. Now, since Rusev's got the belt back, I, it's just not. It, 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 the, nothing's happened with the belt. There's been no elevation of it. There's been no. It seems to me like they've parked it on Rusev because it's the easiest thing to do. Um, now, obviously, we've got this uh, Roman Reigns match. They've tried and tried and tried to put the belt, uh, the main belt, the U Universal and the WWE, on Roman Reigns before. The fans have rejected it and said no to it plenty of times. I think giving the US belt to Roman Reigns is a good idea. I think you can give him the, a lesser title. The crowd can warm up to him while he's got it. They may not necessarily like it at the beginning, but if he does what John Cena did, and I think he will, I, I think they can do this without it being seen as copying. But if they do, um, if if Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns has that sort of mentality where he would go to a ring as a champion and he would be a fighting champion, and I think have, bringing back the United States Open Challenge. And turn and and having it being done by uh, Roman Reigns, I think would be good. Rusev would never do it. Uh, I, I think Roman Reigns could, and I think it would work. And I think it it would benefit Roman Reigns. And then down the road, when he drops it to someone else, he can then go for the main title. And I think it would be more acceptable to the uh, to to the universe. I think I think it will be. So I'm going to actually say Roman Reigns is going to take the belt here. Uh, it's not something I want, but I think that. If they want to elevate Roman Reigns, they have to put something on him. And the Cruiserweight Championship is not an option. Obviously, the Women's Championship is not. And there's, there's, he hasn't got a partner because he's one versus all. Um, I think that Roman Reigns would be acceptable as a United States Championship. Because no one really cares about the United States Championship, really. Uh, but having him do the United States Open Challenges again on Raw and... Uh, I was going to say Raw and SmackDown, but obviously not. Uh, on Raw... I, th I think it'd be a good thing, and so I'm I'm going with Roman Reigns here, and then we get to a match which I don't think anyone really cares about anymore: Cesaro versus Sheamus. Now, what can I say about this match? It's tied at three to three, so you might as well just call it a fresh match, because let's be honest, it anyone who wins wins the uh, wins the um, wins the uh, reward. I think the rewards are a. I, I believe I'm not sure. I believe it's a United States Championship match, but it could be the Universal. They haven't made it clear which championship that the winner's going to get to go for. All we know is it's a championship opportunity. I think that... I think that it doesn't really matter who wins, because whoever wins is not going to win the championship. <laughs> Let's be honest, whichever one they go for. Uh, I think Cesaro is going to win. I, I think that there's no reason for Sheamus to pick up the win here. Uh, Sheamus got the first three, Cesaro then equalised with the following three. Uh, I think Cesaro's going to get it. I think Cesaro's going to win the series. It's going to be like a feel-good thing because the heel was winning. And then Cesaro made this massive comeback and took the belt. I would have liked the series to be a little bit more fluid. Not like, oh, Sheamus wins three, then Cesaro wins three, and then we've got the final. I'd have liked maybe Sheamus to win two, Cesaro to get one, Sheamus to get one. I'd have liked a little bit more fluid. just seems a bit by the numbers to have it go three, three, one. Doesn't make, doesn't make sense to me. Uh, it, does, just, it seems like it's the easy, it was the easiest uh, way to do it. Um, I think Cesaro's going to win, and they haven't made it clear which title he's going to go for. I would like it if possible. I don't know if they'll do this. It, it, I, I don't know whether they can do this, but I'd, I'd like Cesaro to go for the actual WWE Championship. I'd like him to actually switch from Raw to SmackDown. I think Cesaro is was one of them people that I think would do better on SmackDown as opposed to Raw. Um, and I think that you know if he's just saying the championship opportunity. I think it'd be a nice twist for Daniel Bryan to turn up on Raw with a contract um, and obviously have them in the ring. You have Mick Foley with a contract for for the champion and have Cesaro pick and I think he would go with the SmackDown one. I think it'd be a little bit of a twist. I think it'd be an interesting thing. I think people want Cesaro on SmackDown as well, crucially, and I think that would be the way of going about it. You could even have, even have Cesaro go for the Intercontinental Championship um, and Cesaro takes it, goes to SmackDown and The Miz goes to Raw. 
I think you know because then the Miz can go in the cruiserweight. I believe that that's the uh, I, th- I believe he's the right weight for the cruiserweight division. I could be wrong, um, but you could do that. Uh, I think that would be an interesting twist there. Have him switch to SmackDown. So then we get to the last championship match, which is the cruiserweight belt. It's the it's the new belt. It's only been in WWE now for just over a week. Obviously, it's come back. Shall I say it's returned. Uh, and the championship is TJ Perkins. Uh, there was a number one contendership match, Fatal Four Way, last week on Raw. Brian Kendrick won that. Um, I don't think they're going to change the belt. <laughs> let's let's be honest. I don't think they're going to move the belt to someone else after a week. It doesn't make sense. It would be ridiculous for TJ Perkins to lose that belt. Uh, and by the way, Brian Kendrick is the only person who's actually been in WWE who was in that Fatal 4-Way match. I think they wanted to give him some... I, I, I think Brian Kendrick's in that match to elevate TJ Perkins more so than to actually get the belt. And I think, the, the, I think therefore, the obvious... It's like the Nia Jax match. I think the obvious thing is for TJ Perkins to retain that belt. Now, the interesting thing about this match is on Wikipedia for a short period of time when I was looking at it and getting all the, all the matches locked down and whatnot... Uh, it was actually listed as TJ Perkins versus Kane, which is probably one of the reasons why you should never use Wikipedia, but I do. So there we go. Um, yeah, I just I, I just found that funny considering Kane's on SmackDown as well. But you know, they're my predictions. Uh, I'll just run through them again. So we've got Nia Jax, Kevin Owens, New Day, Sasha Banks, Sami Zayn, Roman Reigns, Cesaro, and TJ Perkins for the win. All of them are going to be your winners tonight, I believe. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Um, sorry for the uh, if you've seen the uh, tweet and I think I put it on my Facebook as well about um, these these predictions. I misspelled Kevin Owens' name. I probably made a few more typos knowing me, but you know, <laughs> there we go. Uh, let me know in the comments as I say what you think. Do you think I'm wrong about certain ones? Do you think I'm right? Uh, yeah, and. Uh, there will not be a prediction. There will not be a review show tomorrow. Just going to put that out there because I'm at work. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.